Tammy Bruce, Fox News contributor, host of Fox, or excuse me, well, it is Fox Nation's yeah. Get Tammy Bruce. Yeah. Uh, Tammy, can we just start there and, and how one political party sees the truckers? You know, what's fascinating here is that when you look even just at Canada, Trudeau's numbers have plunged throughout the country. He's like at 16 yes. percent. 16 percent would want him back as the as as the prime minister. So, so that tells you about where people are and how they're viewing this. It also t shows you around the world. This has been inspirational, not just here, but I I throughout Europe as well. New Zealand, Spain. Yeah. France. Yeah. I mean, it's everywhere. So they clearly know that this is a problem, and I think that's what they're reacting to. It's almost become... If we capitulate, we will then have been, in, in a way, proven wrong from, uh, from before. And this is now what they see this being an issue of. But at the same time, if you've got... Th they tried this before they cleared the bridge, when saying, if you're going to... Anybody bringing gas is going to be arrested. When we think about where the people stand, that's when uh, hundreds of people came with gas cans, m some empty, some with gas, right. so that you couldn't arrest everyone. That was also a statement. So uh, I think Trudeau, whose his tendency is to threaten, to not want to give up, to be a petulant child, he's got to admit that he's not in charge at this point. Can, can I ask you about the reports that um, Biden, Biden was urging Trudeau to take some bigger action, tougher action? Um, how, how normal is that? Like, I, can you imagine somebody telling our president what to do with the protesters? Well, uh, you know, with that one bridge, of course, it's affecting I both get countries it with economically. The bridge, but overall, yes. how to deal with? Well, yeah, I, you know, and especially Joe Biden, who's not doing anything about anything in this country, with crime rampant in in major Democrat cities, the open border in the South. Fascinating to hear him advise a different country's premier to take strong action to secure their border and to get control of their country, when that is the, the last thing he's never suggested that here. Uh, and that, I think, is what made people look twice at, oh, so he does think that you can actually use some action to get something done or to stop uh, the protests or to get, gain control of an area. So that means that what's happening here is a choice. He's made a choice to allow these things to unfold, and he's suggesting to Trudeau uh, to uh, do the opposite in his country. Well, and, and as Rand Paul, the senator from Kentucky, pointed out, it started here with our mandates, right. and then they sort of feathered in around where those border crossings were with, with the U.S. and Canada. I, it is fascinating to me that on the southern border of this country, you don't need to take a COVID test. There are all these ways that you can get in surreptitiously, mm -hmm. illegally. You can flag a border agent down and, and take him off a job. He Put becomes him, your Uber. He becomes your, your travel agent, <laughs> your, your personal Uber driver, all of that in charge of feeding you and, and mm -hmm. doing everything else. But the president won't look to listening to his own people on these issues. It's, it's, yeah. There's a reason why people feel this way. Is he not curious enough to want to even know what that well, is? Well, no, the left, having come from the left and now working decades to try to make sure Americans realize this, the left does not mean well. They, they have no respect. They have complete contempt for the average person. And so these kinds of mechanisms are natural for them, is to push down, is to stop protests. Well, that's is, how you control. Yes, exactly. So it has to be controlled because... Uh, human beings in every country, let alone in America, don't want what the left proposes. Everyone wants freedom. It's natural to you want freedom. Know? Look at those poll numbers. Yeah. They, they, they don't want what is being talked no. about, and they certainly don't want it coming from the and messenger the, the who Democrats, promised not to split us. And they don't respect those polls because they think of us as, you know, drooling you mean infants. the White House. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And, and th this is where we can't be affected by that. We, we know who we are and what it is we want, and the founders knew, and we're in the right place here. Ah, the right side of history. That's you right. said it, and, and I wanted to ask you about that, but we got to it. Like, how do, you, how do you know when you're on it? Pay attention. There are plenty of signs to tell you which side of history to be on. That's All right. right, let me get to this. Critics pouncing after a host of celebrities and political leaders were pictured maskless at the Super Bowl. Well, heck, they love to get their picture taken. Well, in this case, it was in clear violation of mandates that include repeat offender, L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti. He also came under fire for going maskless at that NFC championship game at the same stadium two weeks ago. Remember, he said he could hold his breath? Well, Fox's Will Kane tweeted this, L.A. mayor setting world records for holding his breath. Because remember, the mayor says if you hold your breath, you can't get COVID. Mm. 
That's so, oh my gosh, so sciencey. Anyway, other celebrities were going maskless at the game who have been very vocal about following the rules. Charlize Theron, LeBron James, J-Lo, Ellen DeGeneres also spotted without a mask. And this is interesting because she requires, if you see on the right of the screen, the screen that her live audience in studio be masked, right? Twitter users pointing this out, having some side-by-side -side photos. I mean, look, if, if there were no hypocrisy, I don't know what they would do with their free time, some of them. <laughs> we don't want to paint everybody with the same brush. Yeah, sure. And look, you don't have to wear a mask mm -hmm. outdoors. But they've mandated some things That's out right. in California. And how, how is it that COVID gets cured at SoFi Stadium? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, how a football game kind of cures it, or maybe even a midterm election cures it. But what Los Angelinos and Californians recognize also is after that, kids go back to school today yeah. having to wear masks. Yeah. It's a reminder of the absurdity of the dynamic and how, how the elites, there the is. politicians and celebrities, don't believe that they're at risk. Otherwise, they would cover their faces because they're the ones that matter, right? But they don't believe they're at risk, which creates less trust, more of an illegitimacy of government, that Americans are realizing they don't even believe in their own orders. So why are they giving them to us? And especially, why are they forcing children who, as we know now, are the least vulnerable effectively, it's certainly at least for, for uh, uh, COVID and Omicron, but they still do it for the children, but not for themselves. And so when you have someone like our city saying something as absurd as I was holding my breath, hmm. it also tells you how much, and he believes people will believe him. He wasn't joking. That's the contempt they have for us. So uh, Californians, you know, they know what's going on here, but I think that's what they were worried about and, and upset about was the children. It just so today. further divides uh, people along the lines of the elite and the privileged right. and everybody else who's got to got to live. They, they, they want everybody to do what they have to do, I guess, so they can live their lives. Exactly. Right. That's right. Tammy Bruce. Great to have you. In a focus, pleasure. Always. Thank you, ma'am. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.